CLA stands for the Cognitive Academic Language Learning Approach. The CLA instructional framework was developed by Chameau and O'Malley in 1994. It is an effective way of planning how to teach learning strategies. This framework provides for explicit learning strategies instruction through a progression from teacher-guided activities to student-independent use of strategies. The five basic phases in the CLA instructional framework are preparation, presentation, practice, evaluation, and expansion. The framework emphasizes explicitness, metacognitive knowledge, and scaffolded support as the teacher and student work through these phases. They are recursive, which means the teacher can move between them as needed to help students develop skills for understanding and using learning strategies. As it can be seen here, strategies instruction starts out as more teacher-directed and students take more responsibility over time. The first, preparation phase, includes preparing students for strategies. A good analogy would be constructing a building. First, a foundation is poured and then scaffolding is put in place to support the building in progress. That is, presenting strategies and coaching students as they use them. As the building is constructed, it begins to support itself and the scaffolding is gradually removed. Instruction becomes less explicit and less coaching is needed as students start using strategies independently and extending them to other areas. But, even when the building is completed, it needs maintenance and occasional repairs, thus the need for strategies evaluation and evalu evaluation of instruction. The first phase, preparation, has two main tasks creating the learner-centered classroom and identifying students' existing learn learning strategies. Creating the learner-centered classroom as the first step includes setting learning responsibilities, raising students' awareness of their learning processes through learning reflections, setting personal language goals, and self-assessing assess assessing abilities and evaluating progress in the language. After that, it is necessary to identify students' existing learning strategies. Finding out what strategies students already use will help them become aware of their existing strategies use and help teachers decide which strategies to focus on in the instruction. It can be done through class discussion about learning strategies, group discussion and structured interviews. Think aloud of verbalizing one's thought process while working on a task, learning diaries and questionnaires. Preparing students for strategies instructions requires planning and an initial investment of time for both teacher and student. However, once the foundation is laid, instruction will proceed smoothly, since students become accustomed to reflecting on their learning processes and are willing to take responsibility for their learning. Teachers will have in-depth knowledge of their students' learning abilities and will be able to choose appropriate strategies for instruction. Teachers and students will be ready for the next phase of learning strategies instruction, the presentation of new strategies. In the second presentation phase, the teacher presents learning strategies. The process starts with teacher modeling. The teacher demonstrates how the strategy is used by modeling it on a similar task. Naming the strategy explicitly is very important. It is necessary for the times when students evaluate their strategies use and discuss them in general. What is more, this explicit training leads to a more conscious understanding of strategies that contributes to the learner's metacognitive knowledge. Students may not realize the value of strategic learning for themselves until they have practiced it over time. That is why the teacher needs to explain the importance of the strategy before describing typical situations in which the focus strategy may be helpful or telling students when to use the strategy. Finally, Teachers should give students an opportunity to share ways in which they have already used a particular strategy by asking them to describe their use of the strategy. Some of the suggested activities for presenting learning strategies are sample lessons for introducing a strategy, teacher think alouds to present strategies, follow-up strategy instruction based on the think aloud, and telling a story. Language teachers can present learning strategies explicitly to students in a variety of ways. However, teachers should always model strategies, refer to them by name, explain why they are important, suggest when to use them, and elicit from students how they are already using a strategy. As a result of this explicit presentation of learning strategies, 
students will acquire the metacognitive knowledge they need to use strategies independently and begin to have more control over their own learning process. In the third practice phase, students need to practice the use of strategies they have been taught. Strategies practice should be integrated into regular coursework and students should practice strategies while working on authentic, meaningful language tasks that are part of the language class. Besides being authentic, learning tasks should be moderately challenging and based on real communicative needs. Teachers need to encourage students to practice the strategies introduced and explicitly guide students to practice them during language learning tasks. Adding instructions to the task that remind students to use the strategy and modeling them by thinking aloud can be helpful to students. Since the aim is to help students choose their own strategies and develop a repertoire of strategies, they need opportunities to practice choosing strategies for themselves. So, as students become more independent in using strategies, cues should be less frequent and less explicit. Some of the activities for practicing learning strategies are Co cooperative learning and group or pair work, reciprocal teaching, role-playing activities, and problem-solving activities. Teachers need to be explicit in their expectations that students practice learning strategies within the context of classroom activities. This is accomplishing, accomplished by shifting the focus of instruction away from an emphasis on content outcomes and instead placing greater emphasis on thought processes. Students at all levels are capable of talking about their thinking. With teacher support, they can apply strategies that they have been taught and describe how they are doing so. Through different activities, students learn to apply the strategies that teachers present to them, building up their capability for independent learning. In the evaluation phase, students self-evaluate their use of strategies and teachers evaluate their strat strategies instruction. In order to make the most of these reflective processes, they have to be done regularly and using more than one way of collecting information. Some of the best activities for evaluating learning strategies are class discussions, using strategies, checklists, charts and graphic organizers, keeping learning logs, journals and diaries, or relying on questionnaires, interviews and portfolio assessment. During the evaluation phase of learning strategies instruction, the focus is on student self-evaluation, which is essential for students to develop an understanding of their own learning processes. Students need to find out what learning strategies work best for them for specific tasks, why they work, what strategies are not effective, and when and why they are not effective. Through self-evaluation, students are able to develop and tailor their own individual repertoire of learning strategies. When students understand how they learn and which strategies are most useful to them individually, they are better equipped to regulate their own learning and to develop increased independence and language learners. Teachers are also learners and their reflections on their approach to teaching language learning strategies can provide an impetus for further development, not only as a teacher, but also as a lifelong learner. A critical component to effective learning strategies use is the ability to transfer the application of a strategy from a familiar context to an unfamiliar context. This phase of learning strategies use is called expansion. While it is relatively easy for students to practice and evaluate a strategy when instructed by the teacher to do so, real ownership comes from knowing how to choose an appropriate strategy when faced with a new task. Matching a familiar strategy to a new task completes the cycle of strategies instructions and students must rely on their own background knowledge of both the strategy and the task. Expanding the use of the strategy to new contexts completes the instructional model. The expansion phase should be included with instruction of all learning strategies. Suggested activities for expanding the application of learning strategies are expansion through discussions, through other language activities, to other academic subjects and non-academic situations, expansion through positive feedback, through learning logs and through teaching others. The expansion phase is an essential component of learning strategies instruction because the transfer of learning strategies to other tasks is a hallmark of the self-regulated learner. 
Students become independent strategy users only when they are able to apply a strategy learned for one type of task to other types of tasks and to identify appropriate language learning strategies for solving many different types of problems. Once the expansion process is underway, teachers and students alike may find themselves applying strategies to a surprising variety of new situations.